Hello, hello. Greetings and welcome to today's Movement Medicine Morsel. It's going to be a short and sweet back to basics kind of an episode. I always like to circle back to these because I find them just really set everything right. Whether you're tired, whether I'm tired, whether I'm wrought up, whether things are going well, not so well, it just kind of brings everything back to a smooth place. So let's get to it. Let's begin seated. I invite you to sit up nice and tall, but no straining, of course. Planting the feet, you can even look at the feet and feel into the feet. Notice the whatever socks or shoes you're wearing or bare feet, the surface of the floor you're resting them on. And just feel that, take that in. Also take in how the sit bones feel perhaps rocking lightly from side to side, maybe even rocking forward and back. Why not circle? We'll circle around those four points of the base of the pelvis. So you're going to one sit bone towards the tailbone, other sit bone, pubic bone, circling around. And of course, if we circle one way, we're going to want to circle the other way. Still setting up the foundation so we're aware, we're aware of the base of our body. And now let's feel those sit bones on the chair, feel the feet on the floor, and from here rise up. Let's even take our arms up if you wish. On an inhale, taking the hands up, interlacing the fingers, turn the palms away, and then reach the palms towards the sky, letting the spine and the trunk Get a lovely elongation and don't forget to elongate the neck. We want to feel this lovely verticality. And when we release the shoulders and the hands on an exhale, we maintain that tall spine. Soft smile. Let's take the hands to the belly, still seated. And exhale, breath gently leaves the body and the hands follow the belly in. As we inhale, we direct the breath into the belly and feel the belly swell and take the hands with it. Exhale, the belly is relaxing and the hands are following it in. Inhale, the belly is filling. And as we settle into our breath rhythm, we really want our breath rhythm to come to the foreground. Whatever pace feels soothing, comforting, settling. Being curious enough that we let our bodies lead this, mind might be surprised. And it's fun for the mind to be surprised. Let the body lead. Let the body and the breath decide the rhythm. And we want to stay connected to this rhythm even as we lean forward. And anybody who wants to stand up, we press into the feet, we lengthen the legs, and we come to standing. Of course, you can do any of the shaking, tapping, cupping with um, your seat, staying in the seat. You just become creative. So those of us who are standing or sitting, once again, review the feeling of the feet. If you're standing, you can soften the knees a little bit. Everybody's dropping the sit bones, feeling a sense of rootedness. And let's take the arms up one more time. Inhale, interlace the fingers and stretch up. Lengthen the whole body. Feel the crown of the head rising up to the sky. And exhale, release the arms down. Soften the knees if you're standing. And we begin a little bit of shaking. Start by shaking the fingertips the wrists, the elbows. If you're standing, your knees might want to get in on it. And then let's get the head and neck going. Ah, yawning, <laughs> making silly sounds, want the jaw to relax, opening the eyes big, squeezing them shut. We want some nice feelings of contrast and movement in the face. Oof. If you're seated, you won't be wiggling quite as much, but if you're standing, you can Take that a little bit further. Everybody can shake a little bit to one side. 
And then if you do that, you shake to the other side. Everybody can circle their wrists if you want. You don't have to. And shake up, tossing upwards. If you're on your feet, you might find that this is an invitation for the heels to lift and then thump. <sighs> Let out sound anytime you like. And releasing the hands down. If you're standing, you might enjoy pumping the ankles, the knees. So those of you who are standing, continue pumping here and having some fun, switching directions. If you're seated, you can lift one heel and then drop it and lift the other heel and drop it for some fun. You can even do both at the same time. And then with the balls of the feet on the floor, circling the ankles a little bit. And keep circling the ankles maybe four to six times on each side. And those of us who are standing, we're coming down to a gentle finish, rubbing the hands, bending the knees. And standing people are going to do some little ankle and knee circles like this. Seated people are having some fun with the other suggestions I made. So seated people are essentially doing the same thing. You've just got the heel lifted and you're circling around. You can do both at the same time too. Everybody's going the other way and we're all taking our time and enjoying, enjoying and feeling a sense of gratitude bubbling up for the marvelous bodies we have. Think about the things you can do, the things that feel good, not about the things you can't do or the things that hurt. Coming up to stand nice and tall or sit nice and tall, we're going to lightly swing. If you're seated, there are going to be small swings, but they're still free. And if you're standing, start some swings with the feet in place. And should you wish to open them up, you can lift that back heel. So it's not about which is bigger, which is smaller. It's about where does your body today feel free? Where does it feel free? Where is there no pain? Where is there a sense that you're gliding, that you're flowing? So this could be happening in a microscopic realm, and it will give you that sense of everything being connected. Whereas even if you're going big, but you're pushing it and you're trying to get somewhere or accomplish something, that can create a tightness in the body. So we're all about the flow and loving where we're at. So we're bringing the swinging to a natural close. And we're sitting or standing tall. Take a breath in. Let out a sigh. And start lightly tapping around the breastbone area. Open your chest up here and stand proud or sit proud. So you want to own your beautiful posture, own your beautiful self. Take one hand on the hip, cup the other hand and pat back and forth over the lungs. Say hello to them inside. You can even say out loud. I can't hear you. Nobody else can hear you. You can talk to your body. Cupping around the breast chest region. Again, lovingly, hello, I love you. Coming into the side of the chest, opening up a little bit. See if a gesture changes the capacity for your breathing. Coming down from the armpit, under the arm, the elbow, under the forearm, inner wrist, clapping the hands, nice bright energy. Coming up the backs of the fingers lovingly. Take your time. Cupping can be gentle. Or if you need a little bit more wake up, you can make it a little bit more vigorous, but never harsh. Coming up over the outside of the arm, over the shoulder, give yourself a pat on the back. And you can use the other hand to extend the reach of this arm. And then lightly swing it out. Circle the shoulders. Oh, notice how things feel. Maybe there's a different sensation in the one side and the other side. See if you notice anything like this or not. And again, there's no correct answer. There's only the perfection 
of each of our individual experiences as we make connections with our bodies and our breath and our gratitude. Tapping once again, nice and open. Remember, even if you're feeling tired, don't wear a posture of being tired. Take that moment to bring awareness to a beautiful vertical, lateral, horizontal, front, back, everything nice and open. Breathing smoothly, gently. And then the other hand comes on the hip. The hand that's patting is cupped back and forth over the lungs with care and gratitude, circling around the breast chest region with the same loving awareness. Coming into the side body and armpit. Love your armpit. Armpits don't get enough celebration. They're marvelous. And feel how open this lovely side bend creates more room for the lungs and the muscles and bones coming down the back of the arm. Too many wonderful parts to mention, but feel them all. Stand nice and tall or sit nice and tall. Coming around the back of the fingers, the back of the hand. Cupping, we're waking up. We're bringing new sensations. We're collecting all our body parts, building circulation, and collecting gratitude everywhere. And then just shake that out a little bit. And now coming up and down the chest into the throat, just lightly into the jaw. Then the sides of the neck, index finger taps behind the ear, middle finger in front of the ear. And then just over the shoulders, up the back of the neck, across the base of the skull. And then up over the scalp, everywhere. Patting with the fingertips, maybe even a little bit of prickly fingernail just to brighten the circulation. If you've got glasses on, slip them off or hang them on an appropriate part of your clothing and coming to the temple area very lightly. And then one or two circles tapping over ever so delicately around the eye, under the eye, up the bridge of the nose, out over the eyebrow bone. And then coming down to circle the cheeks. So tapping from the bridge of the nose, down the sides of the nose, beside the nostrils, and then following that lovely apple of the cheek, tapping a little bit upwards, fluffing upwards a little bit here. And then yawning and tapping the chewing jaw muscles. <sighs> Tap the jaw along the jawline, and then shake out through the hands, shake out any tension and release the arms. Now we're going to brush the energy, cupping the palms, inhale up over the chest and throat and face, over the head, and exhale, pouring off, sloughing off. Inhale, bringing the energy up, clearing the face and head even further, releasing any of those dust bunnies you shook up. And one more time, inhale, brushing up and over, exhale, release, release, release. And now we're going to Cup the chest with some sound, free the lungs. Oh. Cupping the breasts as you lean forward, the chest area, the lungs. We all have breasts. We all have a chest. Coming around the rib cage, coming into the navel, all the organs softening through the belly. Coming around the back of the waist, some sound for the kidneys. Oh, coming down into the sacrum, backs of the hands or the palms or even loose fists, coming around the outsides of the hips, and then coming gently patting the low belly, the pubic area, and the groin area. Those of you who are standing, keep standing. I'm going to sit to model for anybody who's seated. So you can slip to the front of your chair and send your groin area forward a little bit, tapping here. 
those of you who are standing, we're all going to be doing the same thing now, coming into the pubic bone, scooting forward a little bit so that you can cup and tap the base of the pelvic area, and then coming down the insides of the thighs. You might want to sit back in your chair. If you're standing, you're just curving over. If you're seated, you're curving over. And you go as far as you comfortably can, and then the rest of it you imagine. So here I am cupping. This is as far as my back lets me go today. So I'm cupping and I'm imagining I'm going all the way down my ankles, behind my ankles, and into the arches of the feet. Now, some of you may be reaching down there. And another tip, if you're not reaching with your hands, you can use the heel of the other foot to massage the inside of the arch and even the top of the foot. So people who are seated do that one foot at a time. If you're standing or maybe you're seated, you're doing both feet. So lots of options today. You can try them out over the tops of the feet, around the outsides of the feet. Again, you can be creative and rub with something. Coming up the outsides of the shins, coming back down towards the heels and coming up the back of the calves, to the outsides of the knees, coming cupping up the outsides of the thighs into the hips, back into the knees, cupping up the hamstrings. You might want to scoot to a safe front edge of the chair, you can get quite high. And then just for a moment, if you can lift your lovely buttocks and cup a little bit, excellent. And then those of you who are seated can sit back down. Those of you who are standing can stand. And let's all rest our hands over our low bellies. Grow to your full height. That means growing down into your roots, rising up into your crown, relaxing the chest and shoulders and feeling the breath coming into your body to swell your belly, spherical orb-like energy center, front, sides, back, above and below in your belly region, low belly. And we're going to finish with just a simple soothing. And this isn't a full self-massage, but it's a really short form that you can use any time for soothing. So let's take the hands up to the chest and the heart and take a few breaths, smiling and igniting a connection to love and gratitude. And let one hand float down and it's just a soft stroking, like a caress, caressing from the shoulder down the arm. And if your shoulders aren't up to this, caress your hand. Caress your hand, caress it with the other hand, caress it with your eyes. Eyes can be used all the way down the arm as well. And of course, we're going to do that on the other side. So you can either caress and gently, gently, lovingly stroke down the whole arm. This is a self-soothing technique, very simple. You can even do it if you're on a Zoom meeting, people might not notice but they might feel calmer just noticing if they see you doing it and then the other the smallest version is to caress your hand stroking caressing your hand either the full arm or the hand but all done with a beautiful loving intention and know that you can come back to this at any time let's finish today's little session by cupping the hands over the low belly standing or seated. You're elegant, you're beautiful. You are your most beautiful version of yourself because that's an inside job. Beautiful vertical alignment, connection to the earth, the sky, your breath, and also a connection to love. And letting the breath wash through smooth, lovely, flowing. And there you go, my dear friends. That's today's Back to Basics. Always lovely to come back to basics. And I thank you for your presence and attention. And I wish you beautiful, smooth breath and lovely vertical alignment in everything that you do, even if you're sleeping and lying down. Beautiful vertical alignment. We'll see you next time. Many, many blessings.